At the Carlton Gardens Lawn and Tennis Club in Melbourne, Australia, it's Canada versus Australia. It's not the ATP Cup or the Davis Cup, but a friendly challenge from the members of the Carlton Gardens Lawn and Tennis Club and a handful of Canadians that are down here to visit. It was nicely matched. Everyone was on their best behaviour. I think the competition was fierce and yet friendly. So as usual, people come along with the right attitude, have a good time, but also you know, a little bit of white line fever and people really do try to run down the ball. So we appreciate that you flew all the way out here just to play us. By the way, while you're here, there's an Australian Open on down there. You might like to check, <laughs> check that out as well. Carlton Garden Lawn and Tennis Club is located in a historic park close to the Central Business District in Melbourne, Australia. The club itself is in the centre of Melbourne in the city. So it used to be and it called the Italian Tennis Club because in this area was where all the Italian migrants came and settled after the war. So for a long time you had to be Italian to play here and then around 30 years ago they all decided to move out to the suburbs for bigger housing and the place was left empty. So a couple of the locals came in and reinvigorated it now. It's a World Heritage Site, one of only two individual building World Heritage Sites in Australia, the other one being the City Opera House. The reason is because behind us, there's an old building from 1880, which is the last remaining exhibition hall of its type in the world. So back in the day when there was trade was really kicking along, um, Melbourne was at the time the richest city in the world because of our gold rush, similar to the timing of the Californian gold rush. And with all that influx of money, they built the Royal Exhibition Building, which at the time covered this whole park. It was enormous. And they had a million visitors out from around the world. It went for a year. So it's of high status because at the beautiful gardens, we're all laid out to be observed from the top of the dome, the dome which is based on the dome in Venice. And we find ourselves now here a little bit limited because of the World Heritage restricts us from changing anything in the building or our size. So we stay with four courts, but we're very lucky because they wouldn't allow this to be built now. The fact that it's here and it's protected means we can enjoy these beautiful surrounds for hopefully another hundred years or more. We have a, a, a tennis club with membership, but it's also open to the public. We have the Booker Court system, which is a new computerized booking system. So anyone with access to the internet can jump online, pick a day, pick a time, book a court, pay with a credit card and just turn up. The lights come automatically, the gate opens with a pin and so it's open to all people. So around a thousand people use the club through that Booker Court system. Specifically designed um, coaching for disadvantaged kids on the weekend. We have women's only nights where the government gives us a grant to do that, to encourage women to come to a safe environment. We've adopted the 17 pillars of sustainability via the UNESCO charter so that we make sure that we're the most sustainable club we can be. So part of that was of course sourcing all our power from renewables. Also it looks at things like gender equality in our committee so we have balance of men and women. And we have free sessions, we have homeless people coming to play here where we provide them with all the equipment. We had a friendly challenge today here at the Carlton Gardens London Tennis Club with the local members. It was Canada versus Australia. We had some terrific matches, met some great people and all enjoyed ourselves at a barbecue after the match. So basically any excuse we try and get together right. and fire up the barbecue. We have four courts here which are artificial grass. It's called mod grass or fake grass. So it's a solid concrete base with a rubber mat with this fake grass on it and we filter sand across it to allow a little bit of sliding as well. It's low maintenance because with all the water restrictions that we had 10 years ago, we we're all told don't put anything that requires watering. So we're all green powered as well, so we can play at night without any feelings of guilt. It's clear for me to see now that we're here at Carlton Gardens what passion the Australians have for tennis and how that transforms to such great performances on the competitive courts around the world. It's fantastic, the Australian Open. We notice, of course, a spike in attendance uh, at this time of year. We had a great day here at Carlton Gardens Lawn and Tennis Club. Had some really fun matches, met a lot of new friends, and we'll always remember the tennis club here. So when in Melbourne, Australia, definitely check out the Carlton Gardens Lawn and Tennis Club, and don't forget to pack your racket. <laughs>